Hi everybody, today we are going to see some of the main commands in nmap, how these commands are very useful for the hackers. So here we will see the only three commands. These commands are very useful for the hackers. With these three commands only we are able to hack the system or the web application. So let's see the practicals how I am going to do the activity on the web application which is running here. Just you see here, this is my Metaspreadable 2 server. Uh, there the few applications are running. If I click on the DBWA, Dam Vulnerable Web Application, or if I uh, go click on the Mutility, so you are able to see these uh, uh, already the services are running in this uh, application, in this server. So I will use some basic commands. By using these commands, I am able to get the much vulnerabilities and uh, uh, I mean uh, we will get much vulnerabilities and uh, to do the hacking activities by using the Metaspread framework. So for the VA purpose uh, it means the vulnerability assessment purpose most of the security uh, analysts do the same thing and but they do many activities. I will did very simple uh, manner to do the uh, decrease the work what we do in a simple way. It means only three commands which will give the entire information of the vulnerabilities and we can do many other things within the short period of time. Let's see that. So I am going to ping my IP address. This is my server IP address. Okay. It is, uh, it is getting, getting the replay for me. Now I am going to use the nmap command nmap. And the IP address is 192.168.1.6. The server IP address, IP address is 192.168.1.6. Just click the enter. See, within the seconds, we are able to get the open post details. The similar way you can do on the web applications. But I am not recommended to do with the direct web application. Do the permission, take the permission from the uh, owners and do the activity for the testing purpose. And then I have found many uh, many open ports here, so it seems a uh, little bit vulnerable. So in depth, I want to do some other command which I will get much information. What I can receive command. I will keep the time the four and one fifty two one sixty eight one dot six. The default the speed it will uh, do the scanning in the speed manner. The T one two three four and 5 it is uh, the options are available so on the basis the t3 and t4 is the accurate results we will get by doing as my analysis so you can put t4 or you can avoid this command just you can put the iphone a iphone capital a and then ip address then type the uh, enter the button you will get the results in the same way you can put here the web application details and the place of the ip address the same results you will get for that web website website so we are doing the aggressive scan on that website so let's see what it happened and what the results we will get while doing this guys this is the these are the three main nmap commands i am going to show you these uh, these commands are very useful some uh, very useful for the every security analyst and the every security engineer or the net every sec, uh, internal network security engineer those who are working so let's see the results what we got in a, within a 36 seconds in the time of 36.71 milliseconds we got the results. Let's see how much details we got. I hope you all already know this command but we are able to see the 21 port is open. Yeah, we have seen in the basic uh, uh, scanning but here we are able to see the service FTP and the version is. Now we don't need to enter separately for the version. We don't need to enter separately for the service. Now in the aggressive command, we will get the everything in uh, in detail. So we are able to see here very clearly, but we are not able to see here the vulnerabilities list. So let's type the vulnerabilities. How to get the vulnerabilities? And map just the script command. You remember that this is very powerful script. And just type. You can put the speed and uh, IP address 1.6 in this place of IP address you can add the web application name www.example.com and then you will get the results just 
it will take some time to do the scan on that website and it will do the scanning and it will it will get the good results about the vulnerabilities by using those vulnerabilities we are able to find the uh, exploits in the uh, metasploit uh, framework and then we do the hack this is a simple way so guys please uh, bear with me for the results to get the much uh, uh, much uh, results about the much vulnerability details about that particular operating systems it means a particular operating server so let's see what the details we will get it will take some time it will take one minute almost uh, i will pause my video here and then we will see that we got the details uh, what we have did the scans let's see what are the details we got here see the much details we got here we are able to do very interested to do many things while seeing these vulnerabilities much results much results by seeing the scanning results we are able to hack the system let's see the details what are the details we got here see many details i am very happy to see these details and i am very curiosity to do hack on that uh, system on that server so see these are the uh, ftp and uh, the details of the version and uh, backdoor this is the backdoor details we got here if we search the vsftpd version 2.3.4 for example i am going to the new terminal i am searching for the msf console I will show you the backdoor how we will get that just show I will show you the vulnerability uh, details and uh, we have seen the vulnerability details and we are going to see the exploit which is available or not in the meta spreadable frame so just the meta spreadable frame is starting let's see here and this video is very short and it is not for the uh, uh, this video is not for to do the entire tutorial just we have to show the three commands which is more powerful for the nmap commands and through the nmap these three commands what we can do here we are able to see here so just uh, search and uh, what the version we got here we are able to see here the version 2.3.4 vsftpd just see here and uh, yes ftpd just search got it we got the exploit here we are able to see here this is the exploit and just do the scanning and just use the command exploit and unix fp vsftpd just and show options set ROS to 168.1.6 just run so just I did the normal uh, scanning and we got the cell. Just see, I have config. So my IP address is 1.6. We hacked the system, we hacked that operating system and the service what is running on that. So just I want to show the method through these three nmap commands how we are able to hack the system or the server or the web application which is using there. So guys, thank you for your support and thank you for your uh, you are watching this video i hope you will subscribe my channel and please do subscribe and please do gain the knowledge from my channel thank you thank you for your support